What's going on YouTube? This is TC coming again with another video. In this video, I wanted to talk about several different things, um, kind of like a rant, if you will. Um, and, you know, starting off, I want to talk about, you know, expectations for, um, you know, your first job and pay and, you know, a lot of different things. But um, when it comes to landing your first role in cybersecurity or maybe even IT period, you know, you kind of want to, you kind of want to release all expectations, you know, because every job is different. So how one company may do things is going to be completely different from how another company decides to do things. And somebody else's experiences are going to be completely different from your experience. Um, so with that in mind, you want to go in with an open mind and, you know, not expect too much or too little kind of just want to go in and know like that you're going to be an effective worker and you're going to be able to adapt to the situation however it presents itself um a lot of times online you'll see people saying that yeah you can expect this or you can expect that but again that's just their experience that's not you know law that's there's no um there's no like blueprint for all companies that all companies follow um, in, in regards to um, salaries or you know the things that you should learn or whatever the case may be it's um, IT or cyber security all the same it's like to me I'm understanding that it's it's no straight path it's no you do this thing you do this thing you do that it's all tailored to you and what you want out of your career now on the job there are certain things that you should know um and first and foremost you should try to um at least know the basics so that maybe a job can fill in the gaps but um there is no you know there is no sop for what you should know uh going in that just that's it just doesn't exist and you know i've even got a chance to talk to the vp at my company the vp of security and he even agrees there is no you know um blueprint for what you should know and what you shouldn't it's honestly going to be tailored to your career um what do you want to do with your company and all of the things that or all of the skills that are attractive in your industry um but when it comes to salary and different things like that you know there are going to be a lot of people online if you haven't already seen um there are going to be a lot of people online saying that oh you can land this this job fully remote um with this salary in 30 days or 60 days or however long then again if you follow a lot of the things that these people who um are presenting to you some of the things that i'm talking about you are going to be in for a rude awakening you know there are not everybody doesn't start at these high salaries everybody doesn't start at a hundred thousand ninety thousand eighty thousand some people don't even get some people don't even get to start anywhere close to that um so online tiktok um youtube a lot of these different places people are selling a lifestyle that not a lot of people are living or getting to experience for their first job are these things realities can you make a hundred thousand or more um of course you can you can make a lot more than a hundred thousand a lot more than 200 but to start off I'm, I'm i'm gonna have to be honest it's not gonna be likely um it's possible but again it's not gonna be likely just because when you have zero experience you know and you're presenting yourself to a business how can a business be sure about the investment they're going to get if they don't if you don't have a track record you don't have experience um you may have certifications a degree or whatever the case may be but you don't have experience and experience is going to trump education is going to trump a degree because experience shows an employer that um you've been in these trains before you know what you're doing you can get in and you can start making an immediate impact now when it comes to that <clears throat> when it comes to that you may have to learn like you know 
their SOPs for how they do things with that company, um, maybe onboarding and things like that. Maybe they do things differently in that realm. But, you know, I think that in my opinion, my current opinion, I think that cybersecurity is cybersecurity as a whole. Um, what we are trying to do is protect information and systems. So there are different ways to protect it. But at the end of the day, we're all trying to protect it. Um, so you have to understand that it's all about business. Businesses are trying to protect their integrity. Um, so as cybersecurity professionals and IT professionals, that is what we are tasked to do. So if you don't have um, experience, it's kind of like they like you, you know, they can understand that, you know, you have aptitude, you can learn, but it's still kind of like they're taking a gamble. Um, so I did want to be honest with you about that part, you know, um, as far as what I make personally, um, I'm not ready to talk about that. Um, maybe in the future, matter of fact, in the future, I will talk about it. But um, at this time, it's just something I'd rather not talk about. Um, but me personally, when I got into the industry, I wasn't, you know, concerned about money. I was concerned about getting an opportunity that can change you know my life getting a start all the only thing i needed was one shot you know um i didn't i didn't care what it took as i've talked about in other videos and online i didn't care what i had to sacrifice because um as long as it would get me um in the right direction to the point to where i could change my situation from um where i was a year and a half ago to now you know and you know honestly going back to the money situation it's not um it's not all about money what if you're making you know a hundred thousand dollars but you don't have good work-life balance um you're always working you know you're missing family time um you're forgetting about your hobbies you know all of these things are things that need to be um taken into account so it's not solely about money you know because at the end of the day your mental health family and there are just so many more things that are important than money that money can't be the main focus um so again i really want to be honest with everybody who's watching this video and i want to tell my experience to the people who need to hear it need and want to hear it um salary expectations all of these different things you know you have to kind of like let them go um now, I understand in certain cases, you know, if you have a family, you're trying to make a career change, there's a certain amount of money that you just need to make to survive. And I get that. Um, but I think that's kind of like a different situation from more so what I'm speaking of. If you get presented with an opportunity to get started in IT or cybersecurity and the money isn't the greatest, um, I would still say take it. I know. In my previous video, I stated that, you know, I didn't want to settle. Um, but I think that if you understand what an opportunity can do for you, what a job um, can do for you, um, benefits, perks, or like maybe a company, maybe you start at the help desk, right? And then you move on to the cybersecurity or they have a cybersecurity team and you've just killed it at the help desk. Now you can pivot over. You've proven yourself. Um, so I did say not to settle in, I think, my first video. Um, but honestly, it's going to depend on your case by case. You know, cybersecurity and IT in general is very hard. And I would hate to see people turn down opportunities to start. So, you know, I am one of those kind of people where... Um, I am open to changing my mind and changing my stance on something um, if I'm presented with new information. But, you know, again, it's going to be case by. So one thing I want to say in closing is to, you know, find out what you want to do and research the credentials, um, the technologies and pathways that will get you to be able to do just that. Um, 
there is no path you have to make your own path in it there is no guidance there is there isn't anybody that can hold your hand you have to um build out and follow your own path the best way that you can and that's one of the beauties about working in this industry is you are in complete control of where you go and um again i'll leave you with that so again my name is cc thank you for watching my videos um please like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more thank you